Okay, I'm going to show you how to put a curve on a worktop. This is for a breakfast bar, 670, 600, 900, whatever. Same principle applies. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to show you how to set it up. So what we need to do is get ourselves a little marker pen. And what you're trying to aim for, if you look, you can probably just about see it come out a bit. Right, so what we need to do first is work out where the end of our base unit is going to come. So um, when I set it up approximately there, and then what you need to do is place your worktop in position and work out where the end of the base unit is going to finish underneath and mark it. Okay, so that's a hypothetical position what I've put on there. Now, I would suggest adding about 40 mil. Okay, now this would allow for the curve as it comes back round, and also if you're going to put an end pan on it as well, so you're not missing it. You don't want curve pass, you don't basically don't want the curve overhanging your work, uh, your base units because obviously it's going to not naff, it's going to be wrong. So you need to make sure it's bring it past a little further. Now, what sort of shape do you want? Do we want a big curve? Do we want a small curve? Okay, that's that, your own choice. Me personally, I'm just going to go, I think I'll go for the sort of a small curve. And now, next what we need is a piece of MDF, which we're going to use as a template. I've got a piece there. Now, that is the same width as a worktop 600. That, that, when I've cut it, will give me the shape, the curve uh, that I need. I suggest using something, this is about 8 mil, which is fine. Don't go too thick, because then you've got a problem of when you need to sand it. After you've cut it, you've got to sand it. Thicker it is, the harder it's going to be to cut. Oh, sorry, sand. And MDF's the best option to use as a template. Don't use plywood and don't use OSB board, anything like that. This is the best stuff because it's easier to sand and finish off. Take your right template. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to set this up to the curve. And all you need is a piece of string, big tech, big tech stuff, same stuff that NASA uses, and a pencil. Now, I'll just show you that now. Okay, so what I've done is, that's my uh, piece of MDF, 600 wide, which is the same width as the worktop. I've marked it in the centre there, which is 300, all the way down the line there. Marked it. That Somewhere on that line, is going to be a point from where I'm going to use a marker for the string to give me the curve. So somewhere on that line is going to give me the curve. So the shorter the string, the smaller the curve. So you want a really round worktop, then the string's going to be shorter. Okay, so I'm going to mark that up now on my uh, template, and that should give us a kind of rough idea of the shape of the worktop. You can always play around with it. So basically, what we're doing, we start off at the edge, just set back. This is a bit of a you know, play around a bit, see what sort of shape. If you've already marked it up, you know kind of what you're looking for. I mean, that's that's probably going to be okay for me. Like that, okay. So I'll just mark that out with a pencil. Okay, and that's basically it. Have a play with it, and you'll figure it out. Um, it's not difficult, and that's basically it. If you go on the center line, then wherever you are, it will be equal. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Like I said, shorter string, smaller curve. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go for. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out with a jigsaw. <coughs> I'm going to sand it up, and that'll give you the shape which we're going to utilise and pull that mark on the worktop and cut it out. Okay, so I've set the jigsaw up. What do you want to use? I don't care what jigsaw you've got, with the cheapest shit you've got, the best stuff. Blades, that's the most important thing. Make sure you've got some decent blades. Once you've got decent blades, after, you've won half the battle.
quickly. Just gonna say, cut it out nice and round. It's not perfect. I suspect anybody else that's doing this for the first time, it'll be all over the place. Don't worry, we'll sort that out. It's not a biggie. Okay, so that's the template cut. Now, we need to sand it now. So we're gonna sand it out and get it nice and like a nice curved shape. And that'll be our template. Okay, so I've got some sandpaper. Roughly sandpaper you can get. This is about six, is this? I think I need to sand it up. I could do the sander, but I can't find it, but I'll just give it a bit of sandpaper. And what you do, you try to get any flat spots out. And then, yeah, you get a little flat spot. You don't want flat spots. Imagine how long it takes if you have a big 18 mm MDF. Yeah. yeah. This is why you need to use thinner stuff, it's easier to sand. Certainly not use plywood anyway. Yeah, forever. Plywood's fine if you've got a proper uh, attachment to your house and you've got a perfect curve out, but we're not doing that, we're just using a simple method. So you can use the Get it nice and round. If you've got electric sander, great. This will take you about five minutes. Depends how bad you how you bad you do so cutting this. <coughs> so you're looking like I say looking for flat spots. Right, right, nice and curved. Okay, so that's pretty good. That's took me what, less than five minutes? It's rough sandpaper. There you go. So that basically now is the form of my template for my router. I'm going to set the router up. I'm going to cut the waste off the wood top. I'll show that in a second. Okay, as you see, I've cut the template out. I've placed it on the work top. And now I'm just going to Go around it with the mark pen and find it. All right, here we go. So let's go around with the mark pen. Okay, so that's going to be the template for my curve. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the excess off with the jigsaw, get rid of all the waste. <coughs> and it's easy then just to route her out later on. Go for it. Don't forget, sharp jigsaw blades. Okay, dude, so I've cut the excess off. And voila. Nearly was damn it. Just make sure it's on the other side of the line. And now I'm going to get the router out. There's no getting away from this, you're going to need a router. Okay, so I've fixed the, that's the template we made earlier. As you can see, now I've screwed it in. Just hold it in place. Now remember, make sure the screws out longer than the width of the board template and the worktop, or you're going to end up with a screw coming from your worktop, so make sure they're not longer. I've got a router here, now you've got two options with the routers, you can get a router with the base plate as a template there, which is fixed to the base plate, or you can get a router bit that's got a bearing on the top, the top of the shank, so there's two options, 
Okay, so you've got two options, either that one or the bearing type. The bearing type is probably better, probably work out cheap because you have to get all these accessories. And if you're only doing a couple of cuts and you want a cheap router from being or somewhere, then obviously the best option would be to get the cheapest option, which I presume would be the um, basic kit, which would be a router and a router bit with a bearing on the top. Now there's quarter inch routers and there's half inch routers. Choice is yours. Um, obviously the quarter inch routers are generally cheaper. Okay, so we're gonna set this up now. As you can see, we've done it, what we're talking about, and then we're gonna router it off with the router. Okay, now what I've done is, the depth of the worktop's about 40 mil. Now I'm gonna do it half at a time, because to go through one cut, it's gonna be hard on the router and hard on the bit. So we'll just cut it in two stages, about 20 mil, and then we'll cut the full depth after that stage. As you can see, what you need to do when you're using the router, don't cut all the way off the edge there. You're only cutting it. Okay, when you're cutting with using the router, you want to come in this way. Don't come right off that side, because you'll do is damage the edge there, and even more so on the front edge where the uh, bull nose is. So you're going to come in this way. Okay? Got you. Okay, so as you can see, I've routed that in two stages, the first stage and the second stage. Now that's perfectly round. All I need to do now is just sand it with a bit of sandpaper, just clean off the rough edges. Okay, and I'm going to put the edging strip on. Now I'm not going to put the edging strip on again. If you look at me on one of the other videos, you can see how it's done. But yeah, basically that's it. It shouldn't take you really setting up and all that back more than an hour. You've got the, you know the basics. So it should be okay. So good luck.